Come on! Climb aboard Scholastic's The Magic School Bus for even more wild rides. Now you can collect all the fun in Scholastic's The Magic School Bus video collection. Cool. With the Frizz, Arnold, Wanda, and the rest of the gang. Join them for all of their exciting, action-packed adventures. Find out what happens when Arnold swallows the bus in the Magic School Bus for lunch. Check out what's making Ralphie sick in the Magic School Bus inside Ralphie. Wow! When the kids get trapped in a haunted house, they never know what the next sound is going to be in the Magic School Bus in the Haunted House. Watch this! Experience the wonderful world of animal habitats in the Magic School Bus Hops Home. Make waves as the gang journeys to the ocean floor in the Magic School Bus Gets Eaten. This is so cool! Blast off on a field trip that's out of this world when the Magic School Bus gets lost in space. <laughs> Come along, class! Collect all of Scholastic's The Magic School Bus videos so they can become lasting additions to your video library. I'd say it's a perfect time for a field trip! <laughs> Creepy Halloween stuff around. Howie's right, Katie. This class camping was a real cool idea. Till the lights went out. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> Chill out, guys. It was just me. <sighs> Come on. Our teacher and class are around here somewhere. All we have to do is find them. Look, there's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> Just a bunch of old dinosaur bones! Come on, guys! Oh. That's it, Richie. Next Halloween, I'm camping out. What was that? All right, Katie! We've had it with your ghost imitations! Wait, wait, wait! Are you sure you want to go in there? Well, no, but... Enough is enough! Richie? You okay? Richie?
something tells me we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, there's no place like home. There's no place like Howie, home. Howie, cut it out. Come on, let's take a look around. Gee, I've never been to this part of the museum before. Hey, Howie, check out all of this neat stuff. Yeah. Man, is this place cool or what? <laughs> gotcha! Kitty! That wasn't funny! You're right! It was hysterical! <laughs> Come on, guys! Look what I found! A sarcophagus! Isn't what's in there supposed to be dead? Ooh, let's find out! Anybody home? Trick or treat! <laughs> Tidbits can I find? Oh, I love museums, especially on Halloween. They're just oozing with delectable dilemmas for my victims. Victims! I got a three. One, one, two, three. Oh, no. three more victims. Oh, this is my lucky night. Who, who are you? Dauntless is the name. Fright is my game. I gather fears, and I gather that you are afraid. What was that? Cockroaches! Hissing cockroaches, to be exact. Oh. Perfect. A splendid addition for my collection. A collection? A collection of what? Ho oh, oh, ho! Why, things you're afraid of! Or so you think. Listen. Can I see what's in there? Katie, don't! Whatever you say, young man. But you don't know what you're missing. That's the problem. Well, we've got to get back to our class. Yeah, our yeah. class here. Yeah. Bye! Well, if it's a class you're looking for, I happen to have one. Right here. See these kids? A lively bunch. Just like you. Ah, but they had a lot to learn. Particularly this one. It all started one Halloween. He was desperately hunting for just the right sound. But inexplicably, unexplainably, incomprehensibly, his search became an uphill struggle. your new piece, Concerto for Invented Instrument. Well, it was the concerto part, all right, but... 
but the invented instrument was loopy. And there's almost no time to fix it before the concert at the Sound Museum tomorrow. Yeah, and we've got a rehearsal there this afternoon. So what's the problem, Carlos? Well, I have a great idea for a sound. Mm, and I see you're building an impressive instrument to make it. Marvelous! That's the problem. I can hear the sound in my head, but I... Loopy! What am I going to do? Well, if you keep asking questions, Carlos, you'll keep getting answers. <laughs> but there's no time for questions, Miss Frizzle. We're going to be late for the rehearsal at the Sound Museum. And as we all know, those who are great are never late. Come along, class, to the bus. We're going now, but, but Miss Frizzle... But what if the sound of Carlos's instrument stays? Just like that. Oh, our concerto will be ruined. All the other schools will laugh at us and it'll be the end of the world as we know it. Other than that, nothing. Hmm. What else can I put on this thing to get it to make a terrific sound? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, there! If I only had more time! Hmm, more time. Okay, bus, do your stuff. An award-winning performance, bus! Now for the grand finale. What happened? Oh, not to worry, class. I'll just be a moment. Oh, dear. Just as I thought. Overheated. Well, I believe we'll be here for quite a while. We're going to miss the dress rehearsal. Oh, now rest up. You'll be fine. All right. Time to work on my sound. Miss Frizzle, isn't there something we can do? Well, now that you mention it. It isn't it? There's hardly a sound. Just us. Desperate. Alone. Vulnerable. What was that? It was me. How was that, Dorothy Ann? I want my instrument to have the power of a thunderstorm, so I put an umbrella on it. That sounded more like drizzle, Carlos. Oh. How about this? I wanted it to have the roar of a lion, so I gave it a mane. <laughs> It's a kitten, Carlos. Forget it, Carlos. It looks better and better, but it sounds worse and worse. What was that? All right. That's a great sound. But it, it wasn't me. It came from there. Oh, isn't it mellifluous? That's not exactly the word I'd use for it. Come on, Arnold. It's just a house. You're not scared of a house, are you? Me too. What's wrong with you, class? Where's your spirit of adventure? Take chances. Make mistakes. Get scared out of our wits. Oh, don't be such a chicken, Ralphie. There must be a phone in there. We can call a tow truck. Come on. What a weird place. Kind of eerie, isn't it? Get it? Eerie? <laughs> Carlos! Yeah! Yikes! All I've got 
have to say is, if I meet anybody I can see through, I'm out of here. Whoa, whoa, no need to be hasty, Arnold. That is some doorbell. Oh well, nobody home. Let's go. Good idea. I'm with Arnold. But I need to know what made that sound. Come on! <laughs> How nice! Shall we? Must we? Friendly enough? What a place! We've got a phone for help. Oh, good. Here's a phone book. <gasps> what was that? That was a tantalizing tintinabulation. Mm. No, no, don't! don't! Oh, Foghorn. One of my favorites. Such a big, deep sound. Maybe one of these books was making the sound I heard. Need to know how this turns out. I'm out of here. <laughs> what kind of place is this? I wonder who lives here. Lived here, Keisha. Professor Cornelia C. Contralto, eccentric and collector of sounds, born 1807, disappeared 1892. How do you know that, Miss Frizzle? Because after she vanished, they turned her house, this house, into the Sound Museum. This is the Sound Museum? I knew it. We missed the rehearsal. Well, where is everyone? Mm, gone for the night, Tim. Which means we have the whole place to ourselves. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> Professor Contralto devoted her entire life to sound. Huh? What happened to her? No one knows. Well, I'll bet you anything she's a ghost wandering around this house seeking the perfect sound. <laughs> seeking the perfect sound. Just like me. Well, Carlos, you'll have plenty of time to find it. We're spending the night. The night here? But our permission slips didn't say anything about haunted houses. Besides, there's no place for us. Ah! To sleep! Oh, why look. Eight student-sized beds. And a teacher-sized annex. It's almost as if someone were... Expecting us. <laughs> Be sure to get lots of rest, class. We have a concert tomorrow. <gasps> now maybe it'll sound like a ghost. Carlos, that's the ploopiest yet. It's too late anyway. He'll never find a sound now. Cornelia, if you're out there, will you help me make this thing sound right? Uh Carlos, Miss Frizzle said if you kept asking questions, you'd keep getting answers. Was that an answer? No, but that was... Don't be silly, it's just... Yikes! Ah! A crazed ghost, bound forever in the chains of eternal torment, coming to get us! Listen, it's... it's... Yeah, yeah, terrifying, we know. No! It's the call of Cornelia! Carlos, where are you going? I've got to find out what's making that sound. Um, shouldn't somebody tell Miss Frizzle? Yes! Get me out of here! Listen, it's getting louder. And according to my research, if it 
It's getting louder. We're getting closer. Is that good or bad? Bad. What is that? It's coming from in there. I'm going in. No, Carlos, no! Wow. Incredible. This is one weird house. You mean your house doesn't have a jungle, an ocean, a city, and an alpine wonderland? Nah, the landlord wouldn't go along with it. Damn. An echo. Maybe it was an echo we heard. Yeah, but who made it? Hey! Lass, did I wake you? Ms. Frizzle? Was that you? Oh, yes. Nothing like a good yodel before bed. Toodaloo-loo! Listen, there it is again. The call of Cornelia. Uh, how do we get out of here? The only way is up! Come along, class. Two by two, please. <laughs> Where are we? Professor Contralto built every room in this house to show different things about sound. Ah, simply soniferous. Hey! I've always wanted to play a harp. Look at that string moving back and forth. That class is a vibration. You can feel it. Vibration. Let's get the facts. When the string stopped vibrating, the sound stopped. The vibration of the string! That's what's making the sound! Very good, Carlos. Sound is vibration. Hear it. Feel it. Are all sounds made by something vibrating? Oh, good question, Carlos. Come on, Phoebe. Let's try out that drum. So, I've got to make my instrument vibrate to make my sound. But how? As I always say, behind every successful sound is a vibration. What's happening? Now what? Yeah! Can I look now? Showtime! Why the glasses? You heard sound, you felt sound. Now... Whoa! Carlos, what is it? I can see sound! Watch this! Look at me! Listen. Howdy, 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 howdy. Sing, hidey, 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 hi. Look, there are lots of vibrations close together. But when you sing, loady, loady, lo, there are fewer vibrations further apart. Oh, excellent. High sounds are made by something vibrating fast, and low by something vibrating slow. You know what? These vibrations move kind of like ripples on a pond. The waves start in one place and move out in all directions. If sound is a vibration and it moves through the air in waves and different vibrations make different sounds, stop the vibration and you stop the sound. I've got it! It doesn't matter how my instrument looks as long as it can vibrate. DA, I know what to do! 
I've got to get my instrument. Could it be? Oh, there's an explanation, class. The question is, what is it? First, Carlos's instrument disappears. Then each of us, one by one. Yeah! There's that sound again. It's coming from him. Yeah! Oh. Carlos, are you all right? I'm just in some sort of dungeon or something. Well, if they torture you, don't tell them anything! I'll learn to be a lawyer and meet you back here when we're grown-ups! This way, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Coming, Arnold! We're waiting! I think I should have stayed home today. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Frizzle. No, oh, don't mention it, Arnold. Well, Carlos, you got us into this. Any ideas how to get us out? Listen, where is it coming from? It's hard to hear exactly. Wait here. It's coming from along there. He he can't go down there alone. You're right, Keisha. Why don't you go with them? Come on, you bunch of Weasley Whips! Let's follow Miss Frizzle! You can see the sound waves bouncing off the walls. There, from there, from there! Sound waves bouncing. I bet that's how an echo is made. Those sound waves are traveling through that door. Good observation, Dorothy Ann. Just so long as we don't travel through that door. No, we've got to see what it is. Hello? It was you? Wait a minute. Is it just me, or are you a... Are you? Professor Cornelia C. Contralto, the second. And that is my great-grandmother. Now listen, you've got a concert tomorrow, right? Are you ready to make your instrument sound richly resonant and resoundingly reverberant? How'd she know about Carlos's instrument? You asked the question. Let's see. Don't you mean, let's hear? Right! To make a sound, I need to make something vibrate. My instrument couldn't vibrate because there was too much stuff on it. I don't need that, don't need that, that goes, um, uh, that goes. I think he's got it. And so, young man, if it's all right with you, I would like to add that wonderful sound to my grandmother's collection. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, Dr. Contralto. As I always say, hit it, Cornelia! Heidi, 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 hi. Lodi, 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 lo. Heidi, 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 hi. <laughs> so that's what those sounds are in there. Just a bunch of vibrations. No big deal. Ho oh, yeah. ho! Absolutely, Richie. Bully for you. In that case, there's no need to keep them in here any longer. Away, away, sweet vibrations. To scare no more. No more to scare. 
to scare me more. Really? But, on the other hand... <laughs> Max! Why would she thank you? Don't mind if I do. You know, it's unfortunate, my lad, that people are afraid of what they don't know. Take this tarantula, for example. Uh, I'd rather not. Ah, oh, my point, exactly. But tarantulas are quiet, slow-moving creatures. Oh, see how he steps tenderly. They don't want to bite you any more than you want to bite them. Hey! I guess you're right. Once you get to know a tarantula, he's not that scary anymore. <gasps> Excellent <laughs> observation, Howie. <laughs> this is one fear I don't need. Don't need? Don't need for what? Why, for what I do. And what's that? Scaring people for no reason? Bats. <laughs> for you to find out. Ew, bats are gross. Obviously, young lady, when it comes to bats, you are in the dark. <laughs> one thing I know is that they're horrible and creepy. Actually... That's two things. And they could be vampires. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, vampires, no way. And how do you know that? Well, uh, I guess I don't really know. <laughs> You're not the only one who doesn't know. I had another little victim had a similar problem. A case of mistaken identity. Blah, blah. Keisha said, let there be night. And I say, let there be Miss Frizzle. Where is she anyway? Yeah, our parents will be here any minute. Oh, I hope they like our display of nocturnal animals. Animals that come out at night are my personal favorites. I don't know about you guys, but parent-teacher conferences make me nervous. I want to suck your blood! <laughs> Chill out, Arnold. It's just me, your ordinary creature of the night. Knock it off, Ralphie. There are no vampires. They only exist in your imagination. That's what you think. Bats are just vampires in disguise. Come on, guys. The Frizz wants us to set up the attic, too. The vampire looked around the room of half-humans, half-bats, and said, Attention, my beloved children. At last, the moment I've been waiting for is here. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa, it's dark up here. Uh, why don't I go get a flashlight? What's the matter, Mr. Vampire Expert? Afraid of the dark? No, I'm not afraid. I just can't see, that's all. Maybe you can't, Ralphie. But that can. Ooh, a bat! A real creature of the night. Yeah, it sure is creepy. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Creepy or cute, this is one animal of the night we know very little about. Maybe that's why we're afraid of them. We don't really know much about them. Whoa! Don't hurt it. Uh, don't let it get me. I don't want to be turned into a... a, a Relax, Ralphie. This is real life, not some made-up story. That little bat has as much chance of being a vampire as... <gasps> what was that? <gasps> Yikes! Miss Frizzle? Good evening, class. Ah, I see you found my animal of the night. So dark of wing and keen of craft, of all night flyers, the master's a bat. That's just the kind of thing a vampire would say. <laughs> come on, Ralphie. You've been reading too many comic books. Oh, come, come. Don't be afraid. Let me show you the secrets of being nocturnal. When you're a creature of the night, you wear the color of night so you won't be seen by your enemies. You stay hidden until the sun has set. The darker the night, the safer the flight. And of course, being nocturnal, you feed only during the night. 
Yikes! Ralphie, <gasps> is something wrong? Wrong? No, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no. Ah, the parents have arrived. This is my grandmother, Miss Frizzle. Oh, how nice to finally meet you. Keisha has told me so much about you, I could just eat you up. Did you hear that? Miss Frizzle wants to eat Keisha's grandmother. Ralphie, dear, aren't we going to say hello to Miss Frizzle? Actually, Mom, I, uh, she, uh, she's kind of busy right now. Oh, Ralphie, stop being a pain in the neck. You think I'm a pain in the neck? Just wait. Ah, Dr. Tonelli, how good to see you again. And you, Miss Frizzle. Ralphie's been raving about your field trips. Yes, well, I do so enjoy taking him under my wing. <laughs> uh, excuse me, please. You gotta believe me. The Frizz must be a vampire. The Frizz can't be a vampire. She's our teacher. Maybe during the day, but what about at night, huh? Didn't she say, the darker the night, the safer the flight? She was talking about bats. If it's dark, they blend in, and their enemies can't see them. It says so right here in my book. Vampires like the dark, too, and night is when they strike, which is exactly why Miss Frizzle wanted our parents here after dark. Stop it, Ralphie. Our parents are here at night because they're too busy during the day, and that's all. Your attention, please. Before we all visit the classroom, I thought for the parents-only portion of the evening, we might go someplace more, um, suitable. More, um, breathtaking. <laughs> well, come along. I won't bite. Now do you believe me? Is this a field trip, Miss Frizzle? It is indeed, Mr. Pearlstein. Arnold adores them. At Phoebe's old school, we never had field trips. This is going to be fun. What about the children? Aren't they coming with us? Don't you worry about the children, Mrs. Franklin. They'll be taken care of. Yikes! We're next! Wonder where Miss Frizzle's taking them. I don't know, but we have to find out. Follow that bus! You've gone too far, Ralphie. There's no reason for us to spy on their meeting. Stay here if you want, Quiche. But how are you gonna feel if your grandmother starts sleeping in a box in the basement? That's absolutely ridiculous! <sighs> but I guess there's no harm in making sure. Hit it, Liz! <laughs> We're here! I bid you welcome. Night flyers, we used to call them. Why would Miss Frizzle bring our parents to a place full of bats? And mosquitoes! Because she's a vampire, that's why! What more proof do you need? Ralphie, Miss Frizzle, can't be a vampire because vampires don't exist. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for all this, and I'm going to find out what it is. Well, go ahead, Ralphie. Open the door. It was your idea. Move aside, you Weasley wimps. I'll do it. Now what? Okay, we can go back to school now. No, we can't, Arnold. We've got parents to save. Come on, there's a window over there. <gasps> Admit it, Ralphie, this vampire thing is a bunch of junk. You're making it up. <gasps> oh, yeah? Then explain why Miss Frizzle is making our parents drink blood. To the creatures of the night, long may we fly together. Hold it. They're not drinking blood. It's tomato juice. 
like Miss Frizzle served at the class picnic. Oh, yeah? The only way to stop a teacher vampire is to drive a textbook through her heart. Let's go. Get away, you bloodsuckers. Vampires? No, mosquitoes. <gasps> More bats. We're going to be eaten alive. Wait a minute. Hey, the bats don't want to eat us. They want to eat the mosquitoes. Look. Which proves they aren't vampires. Right. And give me back my book. It's rough. Good place to hang from, if you've got claws. How dark is it in here? Dark enough to sleep in, night or day. <laughs> what is that smell? Bat poop, Mr. Pearlstein? Get used to it. Ew! Bat guano, to be more exact, Mr. Ramon. It makes excellent fertilizer. Walk this way, please. It certainly is stuffy in here. It's the breath of a billion bats, Dr. Tonelli. Well, you know what they say. Bat breath is better than no breath at all. <laughs> Mr. Ramon! Oh, good, oh, good. Little pink babies. Ah, yes. The children of the night. Oh, aren't those bat babies cute? See, Ralphie? Bats are mammals, not vampires. Their babies drink milk, not blood. Get down! The frizz is coming! I can look if I want to. Cannot! Cancel! Cannot! You know, I didn't know that bats take care of very young. Oh, indeed they do, Mrs. Franklin. Bats make excellent mothers. Even on a wall full of pups, they recognize the sound of their own. Oh, just like me. I'd know the sound of my Keisha anywhere. Can't so! Cannot! Keisha? Hmm, no one out there. Only some juicy tidbits for the bats. Tidbits? She's talking about us! She's gonna feed us to the bats! We gotta get help! She said tidbits, not kidbits! <laughs> What are you trying to do? Get us out of here before she turns us all into vampires! Wonder what this does? Nice one, Ralphie. You turn the bus into a bat. And this is turning into a field trip. I don't know, it's too dark to tell. <laughs> Is it just me, or does everything look really weird? Well, what do you expect? The bus is a bat, remember? What if we crash into something? Phew, that was close. Look out! Look out! Bats! Bats everywhere! And they're making so much noise. I didn't hear that before the bus turned into a bat. Awesome! How does the bus keep from running into stuff? It must be because it's a bat. That's how. The bat bus knows how to get around in the dark, like them. But how? I think it's got something to do with that pinging sound. I don't know about you guys, but that pinging is killing my ears. <sighs> I can tell you this. Every time the bat opens its mouth, I hear a ping. Yeah, and then its ears wiggle. I think it's listening to the echo of each ping. I hope the bat bus is listening now, or we're gonna crash. Wow, that's it. When the sounds echo back, the bat bus knows something's there and doesn't bump into it. That must be what the bats are doing when they make that funny sound. They're using echoes to locate things. Echoes to locate? Echolocation. Bats don't need to see with their eyes. They can see with their ears. Weird, but cool. Bats use sound to get around. Ma, stand ahead! Oh no, don't tell me that the bus is hungry. 
At least we know how bats grab a bite to eat. Ew! Yeah, disgusto! And night is a good time for bats to eat. Because they're experts at finding food in the dark. Not because they like to scare people, Ralphie. Yeah? Well, we don't have time for midnight snacks. We have to get back to the castle. Come on, Ralphie, admit it. Bats are cool. And if you were a night animal, you'd want to be one. I would not! Or would I? A bat could fly back to the castle in the dark, find a way inside, and save his parents from Count Frizzula! Ralphie, what are you doing? Bringing this thing back to the castle! <gasps> You sure know how to wing it. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Hey! I love being a bat! Bet I can do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds flat! Watch me, Tim! I can turn on a dime! It's not bad being a bat. You can catch a drink on the fly. And a fly on the drink. Hmm. Not bad. Or snag a moth on the wing. With your wings. I wish I could turn off the moon. That light gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Wonder why. Owl alert! Owl alert? That's why we avoid light. Our enemies can see us in it. The darker the night, the safer the flight. Just like Miss Frizzle said. And she ought to know. She's the queen of the night. By now our parents could be... What if Ralphie's right? What if Miss Frizzle is a vampire? No way, it's not true. Ralphie's never right. Attention parents of my dear beloved children. It's the Frizz. At last, the moment I've been waiting for has come. That's exactly what the vampire in my comic book said. To the castle! Wait for me! I don't want to believe it, but I'm beginning to. Prepare yourselves, for your time has come. And who would like to be my first victim? I told you she was a vampire! Take me, Miss Frizzle, take me. <gasps> grandma! Don't you dare bite my grandmother! The darker the night, the more I think Ralphie's right. The Frizz could be a vampire. Yeah. And I don't want my dad to have nose flaps. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! It's really, really dark down here. Yeah, we'll never find Miss Frizzle. We're bats, guys, remember? To find a location, use echolocation. Follow me. Yeah, millions of parents turn into bats. This way. Bat or no bat, I just don't like the dark. Wait for me, guys. Ooh. What happened? You forgot. If a bat can't hear, it can't tell where it's going. Come on. Keisha, let's go! There she is! They're in the next room. Listen! So, what do you think of our field trip now? I can't believe I let you do this to me. <gasps> my neck will be sore for a week. <gasps> That's my mom! Let's go! Maybe we should have stayed home tonight. Dad, you took the words right out of my mouth. What about the kids, Miss Frizzle? <gasps> Are they going to suffer the same fate as us? 
Of course, they're mine too, aren't they? <laughs> I love you anyway, Daddy. I'll love you forever. We can't let the frizz get away with this! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Make sure she never does this again! Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Visit your local library and read more about science in the Magic School Bus and other science books.